Hi friends, it's Joni at Granny J. Clay. And I just decided to do something I haven't ever tried before. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just turn my camera on and bring you along. What I'm going to do is um, I rolled out some Prima Pearl and I'm going to take an embossing folder and I'm not sure which one. Um, this one has music on it, musical notes. Um, this one has uh, like a pine tree, pine leaves. I love this one. And this one is just a plain sort of a fabric kind of a look. Anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a stamp and stamp onto this something with ink. And then what I'm gonna do is take my clay and place it in here close it up and um, it should, <laughs> we'll see, it should look as though my stamps that I place on here are behind the, the, um, what, the design. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this works. And um, what I might do, I think I might use this one the pine leaves. I love, love the pine leaves. So I have to pick the one where the indents on the uh, embossing folder go in. They don't come out. I think it's this side. I've got gloves on because my fingers are sore. I think it's this side. I'm just trying to feel to make sure. Yeah, I think that's the side I want. Yeah. Just trying to figure it out. I'm just, I think that's the one. I think it indents. Yeah, I'm gonna use this side. So I haven't even figured out what um, stamp I'm going to use, but maybe something Christmassy. Let's see here. Uh, let me see. I have, I have this cute one that um, is for fall and uh, this cute one acorn one that's also for fall I got several in here let me just see if I can find something that would oh I've got this one too that I could print on there that might be pretty I wanted something maybe a little smaller though I'll let you look at that well that shows like that. I'm, so I'm searching through my drawer and not sure. I have this one, which would, uh, it could be Christmassy. And that's pretty too. It's got the three candles. I think of the um, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit when I see that. Okay, let's see. Um, I could even do this coffee, coffee one. Um, you know, it could be hot chocolate in the winter too. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, <laughs> I have this little <clears throat> gingerbread boy. I could use that too. I don't know though if I want to use that one. Um, this isn't necessarily Christmassy. Um, it's a little train. I love that one. Uh, let's see here. What else can I find? I've got several. No, that's not, I see a. I have a snail. Oh, I have an angel. Um, I could use that too. But let's see. I wish it was smaller. I'm just looking for something smaller. Sorry, but I'm just going to include you on the whole thing today. And even while I'm looking for something. Oh, and I got this beautiful um, nativity scene one. I could use that. Um, I've got this one that says Merry Christmas. And that one looks like that. Mm. This one would be 
too big. I'd want it all in one piece. I don't want to leave out anything. So I'm going to put that one back. <clears throat> and let's see here. What else? Um, oh, I've got a really tiny little uh, manger scene. Let's see here. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just use, um, I love this little coffee one too. I'm just going to try the coffee one. Let's see which one is. I'm going to try the coffee one. Just to, just to try it. We'll see. We'll see how this works. So you're coming along for the ride, <laughs> the ride today. Okay, here we go. So I'll get out my black ink pad. I got two of them. I'm not sure which one is the newer. So uh, let's see here. I, I'm going to get out two just like this. And I might just dab from both of them. Let's see how if one's better than the other. It's about time to re-ink my pads, I think. All right, so let's just try this. I want to, again, one more time, just check. Those look like they indent. Okay, so here we go. I want to make sure. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to, I'll start right here in the middle. We'll see how that goes. Not very good. Okay. No, I don't think I like that one. I don't think so. So I'm going to take a little bit of spray, alcohol spray, and kind of put my hand so I don't get anything else sprayed. Spray my alcohol on that to lift it off right away. There we go. That's better. Okay. I'm gonna set that one aside. So let's try. I'm gonna try this, I think, that shows kind of a print. Um, now here's another one. It's hard to figure out if. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try it here. And you'll see with me if it works, okay? Let's try this. Okay. Now it's not going to show up completely because there are some missed spots. And I just thought, okay. right next to it okay and this one right next to this also kind of down maybe a little bit hopefully you can see that and I think I'll do this and maybe that marks there that's all right and that all right I'm just gonna put this on here and get as much of it as I can anyway we shall see what we shall see <laughs> okay there it is let me cover my ink pads here ah hopefully I didn't just mess that up because it popped up as you probably saw I'm going to use this, the bottom of my acrylic roller, and I'm just going to rub. And we'll see if we can get some of that ink off and onto the clay. I know this is odd, but I happen to watch a gal who makes cards, and she did this 
technique in her card making, and I thought maybe I can apply that to clay. Maybe not. We shall see, though. We'll see. It may not come off all the way into the clay. I'm just going to try it. Let's see. We'll see what's happening here. Yeah, that doesn't look so great as a background, does it? All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray this and get this off of here again. I'll do it over here so I don't spray my uh, clay, but I am going to spray my clay to get that off too. In fact, I'll just do it right now, loosen it up a little bit, and see if I can get any of it back off again. Huh? Some of it's coming up. I don't want to waste my clay. I do not want to waste my clay. So let's see. Let's try some more. Especially the pearl. I use pearl often. And I'll see if I can get it off. Most of it off, anyway. I'm getting pieces off, too. <laughs> All right. That's really pretty good. It's coming off quite well. And I have to just sit, let it sit there and dry a little bit, evaporate. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Okay. I'm gonna lift it up and Make sure this is wiped off well enough so I don't set it in a place that has a puddle of alcohol. Okay. All right, let's try this. Okay. Now, I am going to try something else. Oh, you're with me on my experiment today. I hope you're all doing well today. Um, Yeah, little pieces are kind of coming off here and there, but I can just push some of this back in there too. Okay. I have to pick one off my chair mat before I step on it. Oh, I have so many spots of clay. I clean them off and clean them off and then I drop little pieces and they make a mess. <laughs> okay, so let's try something different now. I'm not done. I'm not going to give up yet. I'm not going to give up yet. Um, let me see. Okay, I will try. Let's see what this looks like, this music one. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. And I'm just gonna put leaves all over it. And then I'm gonna put this in. And we'll see what that looks like. I better move my blade. This is, I bought new blades, a couple of new blades, and they are so sharp. I have just cut myself so much. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna, I need to spray my little coffee cup off. I don't want to put it back with ink on it. So actually I'll sp spray a paper towel and then I'm going to just wipe it like that. All right. Good. All right. Now This one looks like I must have had it in either paint and didn't clean it up, 
or ink. Let me see if I can clean this one up. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, it does clean up. I'm getting stuff off of it. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it here and I'm just gonna spray it and let it soak a minute. this one up. You know how that is. You think you're going to do it and then it comes to the end of the day and you're tired of playing with clay and you don't do it. So, I don't know. I want to make sure we get good lines. Let's see. What is in there anyway? <clears throat> to me it looks like paint. Maybe it's clay. I don't know. Okay. Just getting some of it out. You know, at this time of year, I think of the leaves and the leaves turning colors. And um, I think of that song, uh, The Falling Leaves. Oh, I love that song. It's an old one. Drift by my window. <laughs> I won't sing for you because I'm not a singer. Okay. All right. I think it's okay. That's not so bad. Uh, this is a good reason to clean your your. Um, hopefully, this encourages you to keep your stamps clean. I think it encourages me too. So let's see. Let's see what happens on this one. Here we go. All right. Go that way. That way. This way. That way. are better than others here. Okay. And I'm going to go in here. And right there. All right. Here we go. Let's try this. edge of it. Maybe you can see that. Remember, this is just practice. You know, I for years and years and years, I just made stuff and never practiced anything. I just made it. But, you know, every once in a while you have to practice something to see if it actually works. This is one of those times. There's another kind of an experiment that I want to do too. And uh, I may do it today. I can bring you in on that one too. Sometimes I find that I'm just so boring when I'm doing stuff like this because I keep thinking and my mind is going here. Our, our oldest son is in Spain. <laughs> yeah, he's vacationing over in Spain. They started off in Madrid and now he's uh, they're going to some different cities I guess or areas he has always loved to travel he's so much different uh, than me or his dad he just and, I, and good for him you know 
He just likes to travel. Always has. He's been to Australia and England and can't remember all the places. Okay, let's see if that came off on here like I want it to. Okay, I'll lift the back up first maybe. Well, maybe not. It may... I'm trying to be careful here. Oh, that's not bad. Now it's still stuck to the back. I should have squirted the, I should have squirted the um, embossing folder with some water so it would come off a little bit easier, but. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this if, once I get it off of here. Um, don't do as I do, do as uh, I just said, squirt it with water, it'll come off easier. Okay, that's not too bad. I like that. So, um, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. I'm going to take some of it off. I don't need all these edges like this. And take some of that off there. And let's see. Go down the side here to a little ways. And nah, that's that part. Okay, just do that. I still have a little ink on that part. I can probably get that off too before I ball it up together with the others. Okay, so let's see what we can do. I'm going to go get my, um, what was I gonna get? My alcohol inks, so hang on. Well, I decided not to, <clears throat> excuse me, not to do alcohol inks. Have you noticed how this, the leaves look like they're in the background? That's what it's supposed to look like. Isn't that cool? So what I decided to do is use my chalks, um, and I have some like this, and you've seen me use them before. What I do is uh, I just scrape some. I'm going to do some fall colors here. I'm really into making fall things lately. So I'm just going to scrape a little bit of... Um, each of the fall colors that I have, or what I consider fall co fall colors, and you can mix chalks too to get different colors if you want to. Um, of course, I suppose you would know that anyway. And I'll just leave them out so just in case I need them. Let's see what other one do I want to do. I want to do a little bit of brown, not a lot, but. Maybe I'll put this up here. Let's see. You can't really see that, can you? Okay. Come down a little bit. There we go. That one. And I want a little bit of red. So we'll just do a little bit of red. I may need more of that. And let's see here. This is... This is a little bit deeper orange, so I'm going to get that too. Keep that there, and let's do some gold as well as yellow. I think I'll, well, let me put it down here so you can see a little better. And let's see here. Green. I need green. Okay. I'm going to do this green, but I'm going to wipe it off. It's a mess. And I'm going to do this green, too, both of them. So we'll just have a little bit right here. I may need more chalk than this. We'll see. I don't know. You know, to me, this is always fun just to, to kind of, uh, let's see, what else do they want? Anything else? Got the yellow? I think we're good with that. And brown, a little bit of brown. Okay. And I'll do another, just a little bit of a different brown. I like that one too. We shall see what we shall see. All right. I am going to get a brush. And this one I've used before, obviously. 
Let me just see if I can. It won't matter. I'll just get a little bit off of that. Okay, let's. I'm going to try with the orange first. And um, it, what I plan to do is to to just kind of highlight here and there. I really don't have a plan, um, but I don't want to go over the leaves, so I'm going to just kind of do this. Instead of making leaves a color, I'm going to make the music a color. Okay. And as long as I'm doing this, let's do more of it right down here. I don't want to hide the leaves. don't want to hide them. Um, so... Oh, I guess I was telling you that my son's in Spain. He's been sending pictures. Oh, it's so pretty over there. Must be kind of warm. He had a, he had a short sleeve, well, like a tank top thing that he was wearing. So let's see if I can come down through here a little bit. And maybe go over in the corner over here with a little bit. And here. Doesn't need to be too dark. Um, if it ends up dark, it's not a big deal. But this is just kind of a fun thing to try, you know? I love music. I think I told you that we're going to go to Nashville over Christmas and um, we get to go see Amy Grant in concert. I can't remember who she's singing with. Um, there's a guy that she's singing with. You could probably look it up and find that out, but I can't remember. We're going to get a Verbo or a B&B or whatever you call it. So we'll all be together. That would be so nice because our grandchildren are in college. Three of the boys are in, in college. And our granddaughter is one busy, sweet girl. She's president of the class. She's president of student body. She is busy. She is such a sweetheart. Her She's got a heart of gold. Our, well, our grandsons are sweethearts, too. Just love them all. They're good kids, thankfully. So thankful for that. Okay, now I'm going to go get maybe some of this down here. Let's see what I can do. I just kind of dab it off here. Um, I might go in here a little bit. Yeah. And kind of blend those in with each other. Um, maybe we'll go down here with this one. I'm trying to stay away from those leaves and keep them looking like they're, you know, in the background. Just a little bit there, though. Okay. And down in here. Blend, 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 blend a little bit here. Get some in there and blend, blend that with that one. Okay. I have to tell you guys, I, uh, I have been losing weight, and I am not dieting, but um, I don't think I have told you, but I, maybe I have, if I have, forgive me, but I have had, ever since I was a little girl, I've had, well, gut issues, to put it mildly, and, um, and I never told my parents about my strange bathroom habits um, because I didn't know they were odd. I just figured that's what people did. So, um, but now as I'm in my 70s, it just got worse and worse and worse. And it didn't matter what I ate, I would get sick. Um, I'd have to be in the bathroom, both ends. Sorry, too much information. <sighs> okay. Um, and I just got so done with that. And I, I finally went, um, I went to see a, 
naturopathic doctor. He took blood tests. And, um, of course, all this time I'm praying that my gut thing would be healed, too. Obviously, I have a ways, a ways to go with all that, but uh, we figured out, or he figured out, by all the tests and the stool sample, all that. Sorry, I just hope this isn't grossing you out, but just telling the truth here. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go some green. Uh... Uh, he didn't call it allergies. He called it food sensitivities. I have an incredibly high insensitive or sensitivity to beef. Beef, you know, and I love hamburgers and so forth. But, um, and you know, he gave he can give me all that kind of information. But it's what I do with that information that helps. I also have a high sensitivity sensitivity to sugar and dairy. So I have cut out beef and sugar and dairy, and I've gotten gluten-free as well. I can't tell you how much better I feel. I have lost uh, probably 30 pounds. I don't know, something like that. I was. I, I just was too heavy. I was always a thin kid, and uh, when we got married, I weighed, I think, 118. So I... I was never fat, but I, but you know how how that is. The older you get, the more sedentary you are. Anyway, uh, I wasn't happy with my weight at all. Let's see, where can I go? I think I'm just gonna go on top of that one with a little darker green. There we go. And, um, but anyway, so he gave me all the information. To hold my hand up so I don't blow that um, about it and then you know it was up to me to do with it whatever I was going to do with it and he said he had a, a gentleman come into his office and uh, he had him come in after they got his test results back and this gentleman was sensitive to beef as well not not as sensitive as I was I guess he, he said he's never seen somebody's tests come back so high in sensitivity to beef. Beef, But he said, think about all the stuff they feed uh, the cattle these days and so forth. But so I can have pork. I can have chicken. Um, I think I can have pork, chicken, ham, um, turkey. So I'm good. I'm good with all that. I like that. But I eat a lot of salads. Anyway, he was telling me about this guy. He told this guy, you know, about all the sensitivities, and um, the guy said, well, I'm not going to give up. I'm not giving up my steaks. Well, you know, that's up to him. If he, do, if he, he knows how bad he gets when he eats it, and if he's willing to sacrifice health, that, that's, up, that's truly up to him, and that's what the doctor said, too. So he can't make anybody do something, you know. Of course you can't. But he, <laughs> he told me I made his life easy. And, you know, I had, I had been so sick, so gut sick, you know, that funny gut thing, for so many years that I was happy, happy, happy to know what that was all about. And I just jumped right on it and I, I began immediately when I went home that day um, the doctor is in a little town a little ways from here actually in a town where one of our grandsons goes to college so when I went home that day I just started to eliminate stuff right and left um, He told me that the hardest part would be going off sugar, and it was. That's true. It it was. I I love cookies, and I like I love chocolate. I love chocolate cake. <laughs> I love all that stuff. But I, you know, as I looked back after I found all that information out, and as I looked back, I thought, yeah, 
and, and Kai's cheese, I can't, you know, that's dairy too. I can't have Kai's cheese. That's why I got so sick. That is why. And um, because it was what I was eating. It was what I was eating. And who knew? <sighs> now I know. But anyway. Um, sorry, I got to blow my nose. Is that turning out pretty? I like it. So anyway, uh, I'm off all of that stuff. Let's see, we're like that, that. I have some of this in here maybe. I'm off dairy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm off dairy. I'm off sugar. Um, I'm off beef. I'm off a lot of things. There's a lot of things that I had to eliminate. And somebody said, you know, whoops, shoot. Okay, now I'm blue it all over here. Oh well, I'll get that in a minute. Um, somebody said they they could never do that. Oh yes, you could. If you if you were as sick as I was, you could. You could definitely do it. It's it's just been wonderful not to be. Sorry if you see my head in there, but I gotta blow that off. Not to be that sick anymore. It, oh. I get a little green up there, I think. And, yeah, I'm down to 128 pounds now. I think that's about, let's see, 128. Um, I had gotten up into the 100 and close to the 150 something. And so I've lost quite a bit. I'm about five, six and a half. Um, I didn't need all that extra weight. I just have so much more energy. Uh, probably the hardest part of it is I had to order a bunch of new clothes. I went on Amazon and ordered, well, not a bunch, but some. I need more of this green. Maybe a little more of this, too. And I'm going to wipe this up over here before I... Uh, I'm going to have to get a wet, wet wipe to wipe that up. Anyway, so there you have it. But I, ha I just, you know, it took a while for me to have more energy. I was very, very tired at first when I was eliminating things, but I was trying to figure out what to eat um, as well. And now I know how to eat better and more clean. And, and I'm a one happy camper. It is, it's made all the difference in my life. So, you know, so many, so many things are, are fed to the cows these days and add, you know, there's so many things that are added to their diet. And, um, you know, make it bigger and all those kinds of things. So when you think about it, not all of us can digest all that stuff when it comes through the meat. Okay, let's see here. I want to go to here and bring this in up here. So maybe some of you are having issues. I don't know, but I would never have thought of going to uh, a naturopath. I was just praying, and praying um, about the healing of my stomach, and I didn't know the problem, and I was part of the problem. What I was eating was part of the problem. So, um, but there, there was a gal down the street from us who... Um, when uh, we got together and we were talking, she said, wow, you sound like me. And then, so she told me about this naturopath that she went to and, and he had told her, it's what you're eating. And I thought, wow, I'm sure that's true for me too, you know? 
So I was very thankful that Susan told me about him. Okay, let's see. I want more. Maybe, maybe red up in this area. Um, but, you know, for the most part, and I, I, I just had an endoscopy and a colonoscopy last week, and everything was good, thankfully, but uh, that was scheduled before I had gone to the naturopath. Uh, but they're scheduling so far out now. You have to wait so long before you get in, you know. And um, I'm going to get some of that there. I want some brighter colors. I want to make this brighter maybe here. Anyway, by the time I got, I was able to get in and get my endoscopy and colonoscopy, um, I was already better and figured figured out what was going on pretty much. But it it didn't show up anything worse, which is, that's a relief too, of course. You know, I'm going to try to fill in here and just get some darker, darker color to it now. Isn't that pretty, you guys? That's that's not bad, is it? It's just not bad at all. I'm gonna bring some back here. I think I'll use maybe some bigger cutters. So, you know, we can pull in some of those leaves, but we shall see. Um, the other part of that is I would always go somewhere, you know, and, you know, you go out to eat a lot with your family or with other couples and that kind of thing. And I always had to be concerned. And I didn't know why about, where's the bathroom? I always had to find the bathroom right away when I walked in the place so I would have it available. Not fun. Just not fun at all. I didn't like that. And, you know, I am sure that others got tired of it, too. But I couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. I, I kept speaking to it. You know, I believe in healing. I have been healed. And I just think I have... fallen out of practicing what I know to be true from God's word. But, um, but I am thankful. I'm thankful for doctors. Sometimes you need a doctor. Uh, of course, the great physician is the Lord, of course. Okay. I'll put some in here too, maybe, and maybe a little red in that area too. I'm thinking about where I place my cutters, and I want to get, you know, color, color in there. So I just love this, you guys. <laughs> it's turning out okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm sure you're seeing places that you'd like me to you know, put more here or more there. Sometimes when you walk, when you do something like this and you walk away from it for a while, you come back and look at it and think, oh, okay, I need something right there. But And you don't want the areas so defined, you know, you kind of want them to, to blend. I think some of mine are pretty defined. Okay. I have, we have artists in our family. My brother, um, his name is Mark, is a wonderful artist. Oh my 
goodness. He just did illustrations in a ch children's book uh, for a good friend of his. Oh, honestly, he and his wife could... He, his wife is, um, has a degree in English. She could write the books. He could illustrate them. They could do that themselves. And I told him that. I gave him that some thought. But he sure could. He's done all kinds of beautiful drawings. I've got some of them in our home. And I love, love, love having them. So proud of them. You know how that is? Proud of your your brothers and your sisters. My sister, um, I'm the middle sister. My younger sister, her name is Lana, she can decorate a house like nobody's business. Oh, she's got good taste. That's not my thing. And um, boy, is she good at that. And she does, she does beautiful crafts as well. She even did some clay. She did some air dry clay when I was there once. And I showed her how to use a straw to make a hole at the top of it. Because she, she didn't have too many clay tools. So, anyway, it's fun to share ideas together. And let's see, I'm trying to figure out where to put this more green, maybe up here. And I have um, a brother, Bruce, and he's a wonderful architect. And he can draw, too. He's got a beautiful penmanship. And let's see here. Boy, that seems to be getting too dark right there. Let's see what I can do to lighten that up, up a little bit. Kind of just... No, that's okay. Okay. Oh, I think that's pretty, you guys. And I don't care if the pearl shows through in the back of it. I think that, oh, I just think that's really pretty. I'm going to stand up here and look at it now. There we go. A little more red up there. My brother Greg taught himself to play the guitar. You should hear him. Oh my gosh, he's so good. And uh, he, he has a, a group that he plays with sometimes. They practice at his house. and He's just very gifted that way. A couple of Christmases ago, he wrote a song and uh, it had to do Oh, it was hard because I cried. <laughs> it, I mean, it was beautiful. It was really beautiful. It's getting too dark down here, I think. Um, I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. It had to do with us living at home, growing up as kids, and our Christmases, and then coming home with our children for Christmas. Oh, my goodness. It was amazing what he did. But I just cried and cried. In fact, my husband was sitting, um, I was sitting at the dining room table and I was listening to it and I, tears were just flowing. And my husband, I didn't know it, was videoing me. But, um, but it really, it just really struck a chord with me. You know, you just really miss your mom and dad when they're gone and all those memories, all those great memories. Okay, this is looking a little muddy right there, so I want to do something but not sure what here. Mm -mm, I don't know. Maybe I can use some red there. Let's see. What did I miss? Oh, my sister Vicki. Um... She's our older sister. So it's my sister Vicki, then me, then my sister Lana, uh, then Bruce, who's the architect, then Greg, 
who plays the guitar, and then my little brother Mark, who's the artist too, and draws. But my sister Vicky is a beautiful artist. She paints like crazy. She's oh, she does a beautiful job. I don't want that one. Okay, I want that here. Mm. Lighten that up right in there. Okay. A little bit. A little bit there. Now, let's see. I want red everywhere so I can get a little bit of red when I... guys I am happy that makes me happy so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sit for a little bit walk away from it and come back come back oh you know what I've got a little bit of white here maybe if I add some white that might lighten it up in that area let's see what happens I just I just don't like that area and I'm not so sure about that area either. I'll get a different brush so, let's see if that just kind of lightens it up a little bit more, if it just makes it more muddy. And it lightens it up a little bit. You know, you add here and you add there, and then pretty soon you got to area that's a little muddy so I don't know I think I'll just leave it for now keep looking at it here anyway uh, there are six of us my dad could draw his brother could draw um, he was an amazing artist my dad never had training. My, his his brother never had any training. His I think two, maybe three of his sisters also could draw. So it kind of runs in the family that way, but I'm not a good drawer. I've always wanted to paint, though. Um, I'm just going to take this off of here, you guys, for now. I don't want it to blow away if I blow on it. So I can always get some more if I want it. And I started painting on my own for a little bit. And I thought, okay, this isn't going anywhere. This is not my cup of tea. My brother, Mark, my youngest brother, took art classes in college. He is a graphic designer. But you should see his drawings. Um, I should take you around the house sometime and just show you the pictures that he has drawn. I think I'll do that. Anyway, so that's that for now. I want to tell you something too. Um, when I do stuff like this, when it's a, a kind of powdery, um, and actually, I, I think the chalks aren't as bad as um, the Prolex powders. They get all over the place. Anyway, I will get br bring my um, hairspray down here and just spray a little bit. Um, I gotta get that off of there. See a, a little bit of a something there. There we go. Oh. And I'll just give a quick spray. If I have, uh, if, if, if I've been using Prolex powders before I cut my pieces out, I'll just give it a little spray so it will just kind of mat all those Prolex powders a little bit and they don't fly all over. Not as bad though. This, this is not nearly as bad. Chalks aren't as that. I just think Prolex just 
Brolex can go crazy at times. There. Okay. Kind of bring it into the. There. Still looks like it's in the background. That's good. Yeah? Okay. I guess it's good to kind of pick up a different brush once in a while. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to walk away for it, from it for about an hour, come back, look at it, and see if I want to do anything else. But <laughs> there you have it, my little experiment. We'll see what happens with the rest of it. I hope you're having a great day. God bless all of you. And um, be creative today. Do something that's fun. God gave you those gifts. You use them in the best way you know how. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.